Hey, what's up, everybody? Shanti here with your next vlog update. Uh, first of all, if you don't know who I am, I'm Shanti. I create Insanity Hip Hop Abs, and I'm doing a vlog about my shoulder surgery. I had a rotator cuff tear from a bone spur and also a labrum fix. And also I did have a lot of inflammation in my shoulder. It wasn't an injury that happened, you know, from doing anything particular. It was an overuse injury from years of sports and fitness and professional dancing. And I just wanted to make a vlog because I just think it's really important to let people know that obviously over time you can get injured. But in addition to that, there's a lot of people out there who have had rotator cuff injuries or surgeries or you're about to have one and hopefully this helps you out just a little bit so today i just kind of want to talk about what i've been doing in physical therapy i'm so excited you'll see some clips here as i tell you along the way but my last vlog post i talked about some of the exercise i'm doing i do these scapula squeezes which has been really great um and i do uh, three sets of 10 and when you get back, you're gonna squeeze in the middle of your back. And what it does is it obviously helps the range of motion and everything that's happening with the scar tissue. But when you squeeze that center of your back, it also, like I say, your back is also your core. So it kind of really works there. Something else I've been doing in physical therapy, what something really cool is a BFR machine. And what it does is you put a strap either around the inside of your arm. I don't do it on my um, surg surgical arm shoulder but either on my leg where you put it as high up on your leg as possible or you put a cuff around here as much as possible what happens is it squeezes the blood to the muscles and it's a way to lift weights and build strength without actually having to get a dumbbell or do squats or do leg extensions with a machine that's really cool so check this out it's so awesome bfr today on the biceps look at them veins i still got them veins this machine is the devil. <laughs> and then in addition to that, you know, I've really been trying to be relaxed when my physical therapist moves my arm around because one of the things that you might tend to do when you have surgery of any sort or rotator cuff surgery is I always find myself lifting my shoulder almost like in a way of protecting it because Believe it or not, even though I'm very happy I got it done, there's still a small amount of stress there because it did happen. And even just sitting here, I feel like a small amount of pain, but you know, I'm getting closer. I'm currently three weeks post-surgery. So um, is it three weeks or four weeks? Oh God, I'm four weeks post-surgery. What am I doing? What am I talking about? Literally, I got it on February 16th and it's March 16th. So I'm four weeks post-surgery, one month in. I have two weeks to go before... I really am able to keep my sling off altogether. So that's actually really, really great because then I'll be able to kind of move around. But what you'll see as you go along the process, as long as you're going to physical therapy and you're icing, I have this incredible ice machine that is absolutely amazing that I basically fall asleep and it's fall asleep in it every night it attaches around your shoulder and what it does is it just ices and compresses your shoulder. So as long as you do that and you're doing everything that your physical therapist tells you to do, you will be probably ahead of the game as long as the surgery went really well and you don't have any complications. One of the really cool things is to find a physical therapist that you know is gonna work for you. I may have said that before, but I just think it's really important because while you're listening to this video and you you know, scrolling this or Googling to see, oh my gosh, what should I do? One of the best things to do is get a physical therapist that's active. And when I say a physical therapist that's active, you can go to a lot of physical therapy places while obviously they all do a really great job of helping people along the way and healing people. It's kind of like getting a therapist, a mental therapist. You kind of have to vibe with that place or particular physical therapists or therapists that you would um, work with in that facility because it definitely helps the process. I had to explain everything that I want to achieve as I started to go through my PT, even though I could barely move my arm. I mean, I can't even do an active lifting with my surgical arm at the moment. So um, you really want to get somebody that will obviously work with you where you are, but also Help them understand what your end goals are. Do you want to get back to where you were? Do you want to be stronger? 
Do you want to change your your fitness routine or whatever activity that calls you to do this? Some people may just have a job where they just use their shoulder, a construction worker, or maybe you're stacking shelves or eat. I don't know. Like there's so many different career paths that you could have that makes this happen but you have to make sure you communicate with your physical therapist like what you want to achieve as you go through this physical therapy do you want full range of motion in your arm again do you want less pain do you want strength so i bring that up because i actually at my physical therapist place i asked my doctor to find a physical therapist for me that he knows would be great for me i'm like you know what i do you know what i want to achieve you know how hard i want to go still so my physical therapy is intense And I wanted someone that knew what I wanted to achieve post physical therapy. So that was really important. And I just actually decided for myself, I really go. So anyway, I'm happy to announce that I'm actually a hired woman in the physical therapist uh, facility to be my personal trainer. Uh, One of the things that I've been really wanting to do is not just get stronger, but to stop trying to lose weight. I spent my entire fitness career trying to lose weight, be in peak physical condition, be a certain weight. And so now... I'm going to take this recovery and this injury and actually I want to get stronger with it. I want my I want my shoulders to be stronger when I play tennis while I'll definitely gain hopefully 10 to 15 pounds of muscle and and really focusing on lifting. I still want to be able to play tennis and move and have power. So, you know, I actually had to explain to my physical therapist, like these are the things that I want and so hired a personal trainer who is also a physical therapist and i believe she has an md so i just got super lucky i say all that to say is if you find a great physical therapy place that really knows what you want and you're able to communicate and you're able to maybe even continue on there after you heal or find a way to have that physical therapist or therapists help you with your future goals especially when it comes to physical fitness i think it would be really great or even asking for recommendations to help you along your way with the rest of your fitness and wellness journey. Um, I hope you enjoyed some of the clips today. It's been a very interesting process. I'm actually about to go to physical therapy again today. I absolutely love being there. Um, I actually am probably there an hour and a half. You probably won't be there that long, but I just love everything that they have to offer. So if it's something that I can do while I'm there, even though it's not necessary, it's really important that I do it just because you know, really, it's the only focused exercise I get besides riding a bike daily. So um, I just kind of take advantage of that. And hopefully you will, too. Anyway, stay tuned for my journey. And I think it's going to be really, really great as we continue to progress along. And also the reason why I want you guys to stay tuned is because I actually hired a physical therapist, a physio who lives in France to come here to my place for two weeks so that I have my physical therapist and my personal trainer and I have I'm getting massage and electric stem and strengthening other parts of my body that have uh, been affected just by years and years of exercise and dance and sports. And so I'm kind of going on this wellness journey for my entire body. So it's an investment for me. If your insurance covers your physical therapy, you probably have a copay fee, which is really great. So hopefully you have good insurance. But for me, uh, you know, I'm like, what do I want to invest my money in? And I'm like, I want to invest other parts of my, you know, my finances into wellness, because I just believe that if I can just extend my career a little bit longer, obviously, that will, you know, help a lot of you out there who have inspired through the years and also help me make some more money. I don't want to I don't want my career to end in fitness just yet. Anyway, thank you all for joining. Make sure you check out my podcast. Um, If you've never listened to my podcast before, it's called Trust and Believe. I post a lot of them episodes here right on my channel. Make sure you subscribe, please. I just think it'd be a great way for you to enhance your overall wellness. Ask any questions below. I hope you're having an incredible day. And if you're a person that just got surgery or about to have surgery, good luck. Please listen to the other blog entries or find someone that you really vibe with that can help you along the way. And always trust and believe in the power of your recovery.